People think walls separate us. But they also protect us. You know, it's going to be hard getting over the wall. Are you sure that you want to do this? Hello, how are you? I'm really good. How are you? <laughs> I'm OK. Um, now, I've I heard that um, you enjoy traveling and that you travel everywhere with a, a little bag, a little carry-on bag, or at least you used to. Yeah, I try to yeah. tra travel with carry-ons because yeah. can I just tell you how violating it feels when you check a bag, you get home, you open it, and there's a little tag in there from TSA that says they went through everything? Oh, well, that doesn't happen in Europe. Oh. Well, they don't, we, don't, we don't get things checked. That happens in but America. But that sounds horrible. It is. But um, have you ever traveled to Paris? Yeah. Yeah? And do you like it? I love Paris. Yeah? Yeah. Well, um... Uh, you and Miles Teller have worked before on The Spectacular Now, before this whole franchise. I love The Spectacular Now, by the way. I think it's a fantastic movie. Thank you. Um, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Me too. And I wanted to know if yeah, you thought too. that Miles Teller would be right for the young Han Solo movie. Yeah. Yeah. I think Miles Teller should be right for every movie. He's the most talented actor. Well, I, I love I love him and everything he's in. Yeah. The spectacular now, Whiplash. But um, you know, I wanted to know from someone that worked with him because he has that kind of charisma on screen. Yeah, that, Miles, that and he has that charisma on screen. Miles Teller, everyone should hire him, especially for a young Han Solo. Yeah. Well, I thought or Elvis. I just want him to play Elvis. Oh, that'd be a very good he idea. Those people out there kept us in a cage for two hundred years. That is not someone I want to engage with. Nothing to worry about, you're safe now. Um, so you have a few scenes with a new guy, well, a new character in the movie called David. What was it like working with Jeff Daniels? It was incredible. Uh, Jeff's really professional. He's also just a good guy. He's a good human being. Um, and really dedicated to his art form. Always open to collaboration and artistic opinion and thought. He welcomed it and yeah, he was great to work with. For you, who's your favorite movie villain of all time? Of all time? Yeah. You, if you Ursula? Say, Ursula, that's a good one. <laughs> I was thinking you might say Darth Vader because you're a Star Wars fan. Oh, but Darth Vader just, you know, it's not really his fault. He was just taken over. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's his you're fault. Very, you're actually very right, yeah. In 200 years, the greatest scientific minds have lived here to test a theory. If we could rescue people from a toxic environment and put them in a safe place like Chicago, perhaps they would heal it. And I'm one of those people. The Batman vs Superman movie is coming out, and we'd like to know if you're on Team Batman or Team Superman. I'm on Team All Superheroes. On All Superheroes. Would you like to be in a Would you like to be in a superhero movie? Yeah. Yeah, which one would you like to be in? I don't know. Just I any. I just love all of them. Just any superhero. I think they're so excited. I just saw Deadpool. Yeah. Superhero movies are so fun. Well, that's why everyone goes to see them, I exactly. suppose. Exactly. Yeah. I'm well, so I think, passionate about it. I think you'd be brilliant in a, in a superhero movie. And, you know, whichever role you'd accept, I think it'd be fantastic. Thank you. 